Hey everyone, Ben here from the CRM product team. And today we're gonna to talk about how we can use automations and integrations to make your workflow and your day-to-day -day more efficient. As you know, Monday.com's, one of its core philosophies is the user is not supposed to work for the system, but the system is supposed to work uh, for the user. So what does that mean? And that means that we wanna try and make everything as easy as possible, as customizable as possible, and prevent you from doing any manual work. For that reason, we have automations and integrations. Automations can be anything that you want it to be effectively, but basically what we do is we set up uh, recipes. And so we say, when X happens, do Y. So for example, when negotiation changes to one, move the item to the closed one group. Now, as you can see, it automatically did that. It saved us a few seconds here and there. But as you start winning more and more deals, it really lands up adding up. So how did we create that automation? Well, we simply clicked on the automation and we went to the automation center. Now, in this automation center, you can see where we have plenty of already created built recipes that you can customize uh, yourself. Uh, but we also have the ability to create a custom automation automation ourselves. So let me show you how that works. Let's say when uh, the status of, so which status, let's say stage changes to um, last, then I wanna notify, and let's say what exactly am I gonna notify? Hey, this deal was lost. Let's look into why. Um, okay, so now we have what we're going to notify. And let's say who we're going to notify. I want it to be me. Uh, but you could also say the specific person associated to the email column, whatever you really uh, want it to be. So let's say me. Okay. Uh, and now you can see that when I change this to lost, I'm going to get a notification that says, hey, this deal was lost. Let's look into why. Okay, but we can do more than that. So right now I showed you how we can move items easily, how we can send notifications. We could also do uh, things like, let's say, when the deal value, when the forecast value, let's say, is higher than 20,000, notify the enterprise users, we can really do a lot. Now, these are all different types of automations from within the platform itself. I wanna show you how we can also use third parties or integrations in order to make our process more efficient. So we can click on the integration button, just like we would click on the automations. We would pick the specific, um, the specific um, external party that we want to integrate with. Now, Gmail is an extremely powerful one that a lot of people use, but I want to show you a specific example from the communication email app. Now, what we can effectively do is say, when a new email arrives, start time tracking. Now, why is this important? Let's say you have an SLA or a, a policy that says, we're going to reply to every single customer within 24 hours. You need to be able to track yeah, are you on target? Are you way above target? What is going on? So you want to start tracking. So let's say when an email arrives, start time tracking. Now, I don't actually have the column. So within a second, I just need to click add the column, add the time tracking, and that's it. I've added it to my specific board. And anytime a new email arrives, it's going to start time tracking. Now, as you can see on the specific board itself, the time tracking was already created also. Basically, the, the creativity is up to you. The flexibility is up to us. We are here to make sure that this is as efficient as possible. Um, simply let us know if there's anything that we're missing and we will make sure that we can add it uh, to the platform. Uh, if you have any questions, comments, concerns, you can reach out to support at monday.com and we will be more than happy to help.